Recording in progress. Excellent. Well, I want to welcome everyone here to our Oils and Emotions. And this is a continuing series. We've already had um, one, two, two classes, uh, one recorded, one not recorded um, on this. And for me, this is something I'm really passionate about. I'm always doing more research on this um, because it's, an, it's a topic that's really important to me. Um, so thank you so much for coming today. Uh, those of you who are watching on YouTube, make sure to like, subscribe, and also hit the notification bell so you know when we upload our next video. Um, we're happy to have you here. On our Zoom, make sure to rename your devices because at the end I'll be doing, it's not no longer a surprise, I'll be doing a giveaway. Um, today we're going to be covering five basic questions. Why, how, what, where, and when. So why can we use oils to help with our emotions? How do essential oils work? What oils helped me when I started using them? Where do I apply them? And when do I use them? The first question that we're gonna cover is, why can we use oils to help with our emotions? Um, this is really interesting. I found this fascinating because the only one of our five senses that's directly connected with our limbic system is our sense of smell. The limbic system is a set of structures in the brain that deals with emotions and memories. It's known as the seat of emotions. Our olfactory bulb, which is up here somewhere near our brain, um, lies at the top of our sinus cavity. It detects odors. And this bulb is an extension of our brain. And it extends into our limbic system where we process our emotions. We are wonderfully made. <laughs> Um, here are some examples of the connection between scent and emotion. So I want you to think about this. How do you feel when you smell your favorite cookies baking? How do you feel when you smell your favorite meal cooking? Okay, so now you've only smelled it. You haven't tasted it yet. You haven't seen it yet. But how does it make you feel? Does it remind you of somebody? Does it take you back to a moment in your life? I know for me, it does, especially if I smell like lemon and oregano, I think of my mom cooking Greek chicken and learning from um, one of our neighbor ladies how to make Greek chicken. So that takes me back to that moment. Um, I have an example of my husband. Uh, he, he has a grandfather who passed away and he was very close to this grandfather and he would always talk to me, oh, he would make arepas, he would make arepas. And one day I was like, oh, I'm going to try to make arepas, but I didn't tell him I was going to make them. And I am not a professional. I am not a professional. Um, but he was working in his office and I was making the arepas, at least like corn flour, you know, and, and grilling them. And he like came out and he's like, I smell, I smell arepas. I smell. And it's like, he had this huge smile on his face and just was like it, it he got emotional like it was an emotional reaction because it took him back to his grandfather making these arepas at home you know and this was he's a very special man I can't wait to meet him um so it just just shows how our emotions are connected to our sense of smell um now here's something really amazing also our sense of smell warns us it keeps us safe um, let's say you left something on the stove and it's burning. What's the first thing that warns you? It's not the smoke. It's your nose. Your nose tells you, whoops, I left something on the stove. And so right away, you're like, oh, emergency. I got to go. Like, I got to act, you know? So now when we, we see how we can use oil, <laughs> we're, we're seeing why. Why can we use oils, right? Um, because we see how our emotions and the sense of, of scent is connected. Now, how do essential oils work? Essential oils are composed of tiny molecules. Um, they're extremely concentrated and being so small, they can penetrate our skin and enter our bloodstream. When we inhale an essential oil, it travels through our nasal passage to a receptor neuron, big science words, which transports up to our limbic brain. Um, now we have arrived in our mind's control center for our emotions, our mood, and our memory. So when we smell a pure essential oil, it brings those molecules up into our brain. 
These tiny essential oil molecules can penetrate the blood brain barrier. And this is partly why, we, why they are so effective. Here's a side point. It matters what oils you use <laughs> because I have been an avid oil user for plus 10 years. Um, and they did not help me with what these oils help me with. Young, you know, Young Living has a beautiful seed to seal process. Um, they put a lot of thought and a lot of work into the oils that they produce and they are pure grade. So um, we're getting what it says is in the bottle. Um, so just be mindful. Don't expect really much from something you may buy at the store because there's fillers, there's synthetics, there's fragrance, there's all these additives, um, you know, so just be mindful and, and don't put them on topically and don't, you know, just side point back to, um, back to our little class here. Um, before we get to the next question, um, I wanted to give a little bit of a background on me and why I'm so passionate about the effects of oils on emotions and moods. Um, for us, we had a traumatic moment in our life almost, almost exactly two years ago. Maybe that's why I'm nervous today because this is hitting more home for me in, in this week. Um, our son had a severe allergic reaction to dairy and um, he stopped breathing and I had to administer um, epinephrine on the side of the road. <laughs> um, you know, we've been through a lot. I'm a cancer survivor, we've moved a lot, but this moment, that moment where I had to go into that fight or flight response, um, it just felt like it really changed me. Like, um, it felt like my fight or flight response was constantly triggered after that moment. And the flight or fight, flight or fight or flight response um, is an automatic physiological reaction to an event that's perceived as stressful or scary. The perception of threat activates the sympathetic nervous system and it triggers acute stress response and it prepares our body to fight or flee, which is amazing and which keeps us safe. But at the same time, um, there's something that happens if we're at that constant uh, feeling of, of, of panic, I would call it like worried that something's gonna, the next thing, the next sad or hard moment's gonna happen. So there's three stages of fight or flight. There's alarm, resistance, and exhaustion. Alarm is when we first perceive that something um, is stressful or scary or frightening. Um, resistance is when that stress continues, the body stays activated at that higher metabolic rate level to um, effort to offset that persistent stress. Um, but our body is not made to constantly be working at that level of, um, of stress or of fight or flight. Um, so then we hit exhaustion. The prolonged exposure to the stressor results in depletion of our body's resources, which results in wear and tear. Um, it suppresses our immune system and it causes our body, body's functions to deteriorate. Um, this can of course then lead when our immune system goes down like that, it can lead to a variety of health issues, um, illness, heart disease, digestive problems, depression, diabetes. So there's a lot connected to those high stressors and that constant. Um, so I was at this point feeling exhausted <laughs> from that constant panic of being ready for another emergency, um, which is my reality. So I had to find a way to like cope with my new reality because I do have to carry an EpiPen. I do have to be ready to administer it. He does have contact allergies. So I have to be ready for that. And I don't want to be in panic mode all the time either. So, um, I recognize, I recognize the need for Western medicine and I respect it. I believe in doctors, doctors saved my son's life. When that happened, the EMTs came and they swooped in and they did what they had to do. But at the same time, Western medicine and natural remedies can exist in the same world. They can, and they do. So um, 
before I turn to something more uh, aggressive, I wanted to see if there was something else. And um, that's when I started to learn about oils, how they can give relief. So my hubby said, happy anniversary, happy early anniversary. And we, we got the starter bundle, which has the 12 oils in it. Um, because I had been doing research and I was learning how essential oils can help, but you have to, you have to make sure you're getting essential oils that are actually pure um, to see if they can help give some relief with emotions. So for us, it was an investment, but um, this investment did give us a lot of relief um, in the midst of just kind of like that chaos that was happening in my brain. Um, so now I wanted to share what oils for me helped me, right, initially. Um, the oils that helped me initially were stress away and peace and calming. Like right away, I opened up these guys <laughs> stress away and peace and calming. And I felt myself like relaxing, just calming down a little bit and being able to be more in a sense grounded. Um, the feeling of that fight or flight is a very like you're up in the air and just like kind of going like it's this panic, it's this constant. And so um, when I smelled these oils and I started to diffuse them, so that's how we can use them. We can start diffusing them. Um, I started to like feel a little bit better, but I didn't really realize it until my husband told me like a month later, he's like, you seem different. You seem better because I was not in a good place. Like I wasn't, I would get out of bed. I would do what I had to do, but I didn't want to get out of bed. <laughs> But I have a six-year-old that I had to tend to. And I had, you know, like a, well, a, flat, a four or five-year-old, you know, um, and I want to be able to feel the feelings, you know, I want to be able to connect to him and I want to be able to cry when I need to cry and, and, and do the things that like really connect me to my son and to my family and to my friends. Um, but it was a hard time and it was just progressively getting worse. And then all of a sudden my husband's like, Hey, We've been, the only thing that's changed is that you're using oils as part of the routine. And really I was just diffusing at that time. I was diffusing, just con like my diffuser was always on. Um, and then when my husband said that, it made me really think about it because I thought, wow, maybe it's helping. Maybe it's giving me just a little bit of relief. Um, and then of course I started to do more research into the science of how essential oils work and how they affect our emotions. Um, so initially it was stress away and peace and calming for me that right away. And lemon is a very happy smell as well. And so then I, I would diffuse lemon and valor and I tend to get like really um, worked up in certain situations. And so these two, were just really just calm me down and just help me to face things a little bit better. And then the oil that has become my full, like I call it my heart oil because it, it just makes my heart feel calm is frankincense. So for me, frankincense initially, my body, like I rejected it. I did not want to smell it. I, I was like, oh no, little did I know that it's turned into the oil that I, I need just the one drop. You know, I do the one drop at nighttime and it calms my mind down and it helps me get restful sleep. Sometimes on days where I'm really worked up, I'll, I'll put another drop. And all I do really is just, sometimes I just sniff it from the, <laughs> but yeah, it's just the one drop in my hand. And I just, <sighs> that helps. Um, you know, and when I started using frankincense, I started to, to really notice a big difference in my emotions because it is a very grounding oil, um, by grounding, I think of like a tree, you know, like a nice, strong tree next to water, really deep roots. It's grounded. It's in the ground, strong, stable. And when I feel like I am feeling that fight or flight or that panic or that, I feel like a leaf, 
like this, like I'm just getting thrown about, like my emotions are just all over the place. I cannot focus. I cannot get work done. I can't, I can't be in the moment with my family. Um, so that's something that I realized I really noticed the difference. Um, and then probably about two months ago, I was on Zoom with a friend who I hadn't spoken to for a really long time. And then she messages me afterwards and she goes to me, I hope I don't offend you, but you seem better. Like you seem happy, like better than you were when you were here. And when I was there, I was not good because everything had happened and I was not well. And I'm like, you don't offend me. <laughs> I know I was not well, you know, I wasn't. And um, it just helped me to realize like what, what has changed. You know, I, I have a beautiful spiritual routine. I have a beautiful family. Um, I needed something to help me, give me relief. So really that's, that's, this has just helped me. It has not cured me but it's helped me to be able to function and to just be in a better place to be of more help and of, of in a better mental space for my family and, and to be more in the moment and be there for my friends more than I was, you know, because it can be very overwhelming and you can tend to like push back and like, just, you know, want to hide under a rock. Um, so when it comes to those moments where you're feeling that like, like those harder days, I would say, make yourself a roller of whatever oil really like calms you down. I, I shared a calm, I think I called it calm mind roller. Um, one of our videos has me making it, but on my Instagram, you can actually find it. It's my last post. Um, and it's, it's comprised of about five different oils, but it's not a lot. It's just these different like emotional, um, powerhouse oils. And I just made a roller. And when I'm feeling like this week, I is a hard week because it's the anniversary it's coming up, um, of that day. And I can tell like the feelings just kind of bubble up. Our cells have memory, you know, and, and our body remembers that moment, you know? And so this has been a hard week. So I, I do use my roller and I have been on top of my oily routine and I, um, we've been on working on our spiritual routine and trying to keep that on and all these things and all that together has really helped me getting outside and going for a walk. You know, it's not just about oils, obviously it's about doing things that really help your mind. So we've been outside working in our garden um, enjoying the flowers, you know, different things like that have just really helped me this week because it's a rough week <laughs> for myself. Um, but yeah, these are, these are the oils that I initially use. Like, and, and I'll tell you this, I initially use them. I continue to use them every single day. They're part of like our oily toolbox. Um, and you know, the two ways I say always is just make sure you're diffusing your oils. Don't keep them cute in the box. They'll do nobody any good cute in the box. Put them out, um, have your little oily station with a little pitcher of water and, and just diffuse, you know, and um, Valor and Lemon are great for up, up, uplifting, you know, um, stress away for me was, that was the first oil I ran out of. The first one I ran out of, and then I bought the big bottle. Um, and I love that with peppermint when I'm needing that like boost and just feel good feeling. Um, it's a happy scent to me. So I love that it has vanilla and vanilla for me is a very like uh, comforting scent. Um, and then frankincense and peace and calming was what finally helped us sleep because we were not, none of us were really sleeping. We weren't. We were waking up like Peter was waking up like four times a night. And I mean, obviously it's like he was waking up with dreams and stuff like that and just processing all these things. And, you know, we need to give our, our, our we need to allow ourselves to process these things. If not, they're going to like, they're going to come up, 
them keep coming up. And, and that it is, it is going to keep coming up, but I feel like it's, it comes up and I'm able to kind of ride that wave a little bit easier because we're imperfect and these things are going to keep coming up. Hard things are going to happen. Circumstances change. And so just having tools to help us kind of ride those waves of emotions for me is really important. And for my family, my husband deals with stuff, emotional stuff. Um, we all deal with it, you know, <laughs> whether we want to recognize it or not. It just is part of like our everyday life because our life is full of stressors and scary and frightening moments. Um, but yeah, so I think I covered most of my points. If anybody has any questions or wants to share how they've used oils for their emotions, um, I, yeah, I'm happy to hear somebody else's voice. All right, Jason, I'm gonna go Michelle first. Sorry, honey. <laughs> yes, um, I'm with you. Stress Away was that oil that made me believe. Um, at the time when I got um, my oils, I had just started a part-time because COVID had just started. So I was really stressed out. It was um, delivery packages in my local neighborhood, but nonetheless having to read um, a new map, having to read, you know, just a different type of job. I remember sitting there sometimes, couldn't find addresses, and I would cry. I was so frustrated, and I had like a hundred boxes, packages in my car that I needed to deliver, and I pulled out my stress away, smelled it, did, you know, the scent tent, and oh my word, it helped me get through the day. You know, so now I try to be proactive with my oils. If I know, for instance, my, my week, a PMS week, I know it can be intense. So I am proactive a week before I am prepping myself with progestins plus with those specific oils, because I don't want to be putting out fires. I want to prevent them. Like you said, they're going to come up. So I want to be able to prevent um, those big emotions from happening. And if they do arise, um, I know how to take care of them or I just know how to handle them better, you know? And yeah, just like you, I've gotten friends and family that say, um, you're different, it's, it's nice. <laughs> it's nice that you're not so crabby. Um, so yeah, it definitely does, does help. But like you said, use the oils on a daily and, um, and yeah, just, I couldn't agree more. Love that. Thanks for sharing. Honey, did you want to share my love? Yeah. I just wanted to say that I, you know, I don't know if, um, how much I've shared about it, but I, I've got my own issues. You know, Doris kind of knew what she was signing up for when we were dating and still said the I do's and I love her for that. She's my biggest cheer cheerleader. Nice class, babe. And um, but I, you know, I deal, I I deal with depression. I deal with constant that constant battle of of sad feelings, of um uh just fight and flight, you know, just because of my upbringing. Uh, my experiences in my family, and um, and I I hate to say this, but my wife and I don't mind putting myself out there because this year in COVID has just been this year in COVID has just been amazing in the sense of it has forced us to deal with issues that normally maybe we've been so busy not being like in our homes and, and kind of trapped. And my relationship with my wife has improved. I'm trying to say something and you're distracting me, keep it down. And, um, and so a lot has come to the surface in my relationship with my wife. I've learned a lot about myself during COVID. Um, and what's amazing is like, I helped my, my wife was getting into oils like diffusing them. And there's always the budget in our house. You know, it's a one family, one person income, 
you know, my wife, we made that decision for her to stay home with Peter and raise him. And, you know, and that's a full-time job, his allergies, you know, cooking all three meals because of his allergies. Um, and so, you know, it was always about the budget. And I feel like, man, if I would have just given her the green light, you know, it was, it, I will put up a fuss if we're over budget because, you know, there's that fear. It always boils down to my family, bankruptcy, my dad, all those issues. And so I, you know, I feel like she would have been so much farther along if I wouldn't have been holding her back, you know, and, um, and for that, I'm very sorry, you know, and, and she knows this, we've had this conversation, but we finally, I, I, I kind of saw the signs of, of what she was wanting with the oils and our anniversary is coming up. And I told her, I said, just let's, let's order let's order the oils our anniversary is next month but let's just go ahead and order or order the oils again me holding her back i gave her the green light she could probably could have done this a year or two earlier we probably would have been royal crown diamonds by now <laughs> no i'm just kidding but um so anyway she orders she orders the oils and i'm you know mind you she's been diffusing and she's been buying oils at other at other stores and um, and really never, I never saw a difference. Well, she gets, she gets these oils and a month later, I'm like, man, she just seems different. Like her attitude and her demeanor is different. You know, I mean, the poor girl's broken from what's happened. Major car accident that almost cost her and her and my son's life at 10 months old. And then to deal with my son going into anaphylactive and holding him lifeless in his arms, you know? And so, I I've seen like the deli her deli how delicate she's she was and and just how she was processing things started changing. I'm like, man, you should just seem better. And um and so it wasn't I I didn't I didn't care to bother them. I, I didn't care to bother to try the oils. And I had, you know, I've always dealt with like stomach issues, whether it's food coming up or the burping or that acid or um and so she's like, hey, you know, in the kit, we got Digize. I'm going to give you some, you know, of course, her pushing it on me because I would go, I'd either put apple cider vinegar and drink that, which was nasty. And I still could, it still wouldn't completely take care of it. Or I'd buy over the counter drugs. So she gives me Digize and within 10 minutes, I was burping everything up and I was, I felt so much better. And so that to me, I was like, wow, this oil works. This really works, right? So that was Digize. Then there's the sleeping issue, which deals with emotional support. If you're not sleeping good, your, your day, you know, if you're going nights and days and weeks and months without sleeping well, it just wears on you. You're just, you're a shell of a person. You're, you're scattered. You're like just a deer in headlights. You know, that's how, how, how I was feeling. I, I would imagine that's how Doris was feeling. We were just going through the motions. So then we started diffusing peace and calming. And then we started sleeping. Well, we started doing it with Peter. He was the one waking us up most of the time. I'd still wake up a couple of times, but I would stay up for an, a good hour after. Um, when I would wake up, I just would have trouble going back to sleep. Well, we started diffusing peace and calming. We still, I don't think, were we applying it or we, were, or we just diffused it? Okay. And that was working for a good month. It was working. And then you know, sometimes you got to switch up your oils. And I started going back to waking up a couple times a week, a couple times a night. I wouldn't have trouble going back to sleep, but I, so I, I'm like, we decided we had blue tansy. Doris was doing young li li living enough that she, I don't know if you won blue tansy or it was a gift or what happened. So you, no, you, we started applying peace and calming to the bottom of your feet. Yes. And you would put it on the top of your head. On the top of my head, that okay. Yeah. But peace, peace and calming has blue tansy in it, um, which is a very it's a it's a very powerful oil. Helps for restful sleep. But that's blue tansy is also in valor, and in peace and calming. Blue tansy is an oil that I I did not purchase. I actually was gifted to me because it's it's not in my budget. <laughs> But I will say this, that it will be in our budget. When we run out, we will make room for the budget because I, I I audit for a living for a company, right? And um, 
and there's what 85 drops in a bottle and if you do two drops in a in a in a roller bottle you know filled with carrier oil i apply that to the bottom of my feet the top of my head i sleep through the night sometimes i wake up once because i got a weak bladder and i use the bathroom but um two drops in a in a little carrier in a little roller bottle that lasts you for about a month doing that what's two drops times 12 months 24 drops you could get a good four years out of that little bottle granted doris uses it too for for her um, face. For other stuff but yes but yeah that, <laughs> that for me was a game changer peace and calming and digest blue tansy i love it cedar wood is like my heart oil like doris's is frankincense i love cedar wood it's so grounding and I recently purchased a uh, Shootron. I had heard all of these positive reviews about the t testosterone for men. I don't know what it is for women as far as hormones. What do you guys use? Pro Plus. Pro Plus. Well, for a guy, it's um, Shootron. And no lie, probably within the last month, I would, I would roll my Cedarwood Valor. That was my little roller mix, my cologne daily that would just keep me calm. Um, now I, my, my body just grabs a shoe chant first. There's, um, Idaho blue spruce, I think cedar wood. There's other oils, the Lang Lang, but my body craves that oil now. And I just seem a lot more calmer and grounded and, um, I'm in a better headspace. So that's my little story. Right. Sorry for talking too much, talking <laughs> a lot, come, <laughs> us, my wife, my son. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, Lydia and Kim. Hi. Hi. Thank you, Jason, for all of that. <laughs> no, I just um, I wanted to share about one of my favorite oils, uh, Blend Valor. Um, till this day, when I go, I have for a long time have um, uh, been challenging for me to go into big crowds uh, of people or very big, uh, busy places. And um, I use Valor when I'm feeling that it's a challenge and to go to a, a busy place. And it really helps me calm my mind, relax, and literally have the courage to go into a place and it's just amazing because it works within minutes when I first had my kids and they were little um I literally drove to the supermarket and I had to just sit I, I would tr sit there probably sometimes for an hour crying trying to get out of the car and I couldn't because my feelings over feeling overwhelmed were so strong I had to drive back home I wish I had valor those days, but I'm glad I have it now. So just want to say, if anybody um, have feelings such as those, <laughs> the holler is a great, really, really great blend to use. And it's just an amazing blend to have the courage and the calmness to confront those feelings and be able to do what you need to do. Thank that you was for awesome. sharing, my friends. <laughs> You're welcome. And I did know, um, I'll ask you something, Lydia. When you apply your oils, where do you usually apply them? So uh, the first thing I do with Valor is uh, put a uh, drop in the palm of my hand and um, put it towards my nose and kind of like make a tent with my hands and smell them and just close my eyes. And I do use some... Um, together with deep breathing, trying to like ground myself. And I apply it in the back of my head, in my neck, I should say, and um, in my wrist. And um, sometimes I even put a little drop of Valor on my head. Valor has frankincense, your favorite oil. <laughs> and it's very calming. And it really helps with those thoughts because running thoughts in our head could actually get, you know, kind of like, paralyze you uh and frankincense is really good for that and like they, you guys say blue tansy so putting it in my head also really helps just a drop in the crown of my hand awesome yeah yeah uh, one thing i i didn't cover too much was just 
placement. I am like bottom of the feet are, is great. Even for little ones, the bottom of their feet is the great place to apply oils and like um, just diluting. I always, I have like a little, little guy like this full of carrier oil. And um, so it'll dilute the essential oil. The essential oil will last longer and it'll still be effective. It still works even though it's diluted with a carrier oil. Um, so yeah, I'll do bottoms of my feet, um, inside of my ankles, um, my spine with, when it comes to like immune system support, but like back of my ears, um, and also sometimes on my neck, for some reason, I like to use like, um, Clary Sage as an oil I've been using <laughs> lately for my emotions too. Um, did anybody else want to have a question or wanted to share what oils they like to use for their emotions. If not, we could stop the recording and um, I'll just share what the giveaway is. So I have everyone's names here, but the giveaway, I have this book, not this one, this is my used up book, but I have, this is the essential book by Hello Essentials. And it is just a nice little reference book um, it talks about like placement, it talks about different oils, um, how to use them, um, just a nice like little, little, ref not little, I mean, it doesn't, reference book that I really like that kind of gives you, especially if you're starting out as an, at using your oils, it kind of gives you really great information, um, education, and just uh, really how to get started with using your oils. Susie, go ahead, Missy. Hey, I was just going to share some of my favorite. So I have a lot of favorites just depending on what emotion I'm feeling in the moment. Um, but something that I've kind of struggled with since I was a teenager was just, um, you know, the, the blues, especially, you know, come winter, winter blues. And I think that being that we've been living in the middle of the pandemic for so long, I don't, you know, I think that's something that's affected a a lot of friends, you know, a lot of people um, being so far away and apart from our loved ones and friends. So the two oils um, that were new to me in the last couple of months that I really have been loving um, have been White Angelica and Sarah. So White Angelica, both of them are actually blends of different oils, um, but White Angelica really uh, was a savior in the winter when things usually tend to get pretty bad. Um, and just a little description of like what, you know, it said was it helps with emotional cleansing um, and it helps you have a sense of strength and protection. Um, and a lot of the big triggers or the big emotions are like anger and sadness. So this one definitely was one, um, it smells really nice on its own. It's very, it's like between florally and fruity. So I know that this is one of the um, main oils in a lot of perfume blends for, um, you know, the ones that like to make their own perfumes. So this alone is really good, but sometimes I'll mix it. I have a roller. Um, and this is one of my main ingredients is the white angelica. And then the other one is Sarah. Um, Sarah also is a, a blend. It's a little more earthy, but in florally at the same time. Um, but this one helps to relax your mind because a lot of times too, when you're fighting all these emotions, or at least in my case, um, the hard thing for me to control is my mind and the thoughts and not being able to just clear it so that I can focus on what I need to do in the moment. So a lot of times um, this is the one that I reach for. And this I've actually even used for um, my daughter when she goes to school and she's had an emotional day or you know something happened or somebody was picking on her. Um, this was one that a friend had recommended and we really liked. Um, so this helps relax the mind. It helps release and let go of negative emotions and bad memories that may be stuck. And that's, um, you know, one that I've really enjoyed as well is Sarah. Same thing, either diffusing it or as part of um, a roller. And then what I like to do, like um, 
Doris had mentioned, a lot of the citrus oils are happy oils. You know, they automatically make us happy. So a lot of times I'm combining both, you know, something to help me fight what I'm feeling. And then I combine it with something that I know is gonna make me happy. So you've got the bergamot and the lemon and tangerine and the orange and grapefruit, all of those. Um, so when I combine those, I've seen a huge, huge, huge um, effect in, in my life. So some of my new favorites, but I, I have a lot. That's it. Love that. Yeah, and um, something I wanna mention here, um, we do have a YouTube channel which we're gonna be uploading this one to, um, but we already have saved some videos on there and um, you know, sharing our favorite oils. Um, I, we will be uploading our oils and emotions class that we had, um, that I had with Lydia Genshaw. And that one, we really dig in a little bit deeper into the science. This one, I wanted to keep it more like, in a sense, basic, but not basic because I shared a lot of science, um, but in the like more like simple, like here, here's some of the information, but um, I always like my recommendation is always do research, dig into if, if this is something that, you know, you're interested in and wanting to learn more about, do research, start digging in because there is so much amazing information. Um, there's a beautiful, uh, beautiful account science of essentials that I love. And um, on I, Instagram, um, I'm going to continue be, continue to learn about this, but like getting into the science of it, um, it is pretty amazing when you start to just do a little bit more research and dig in a little bit more. Um, there are great resource books. So if you have questions and want more information on what books I use, um, there's an app also that I really like. Um, we can talk about that once we um, stop the recording, but I think I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording and then we can announce our giveaway winner. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do our little close out here. Thanks for being here for our class, Oils and Emotion, our continuing series, because we're going to keep learning about this. Um, if you enjoyed the class, please like, subscribe, and hit your notification bell. And that way, you know when we upload the next class. Um, and thanks for being here. Any comments, any future classes you want to see, just leave them in the comments. And um, we will be sure to respond and, um, yeah, get back to you. So thanks for watching.